Okay, I'm back, y'all. Spirit, spirit, guys, ancestors, angels, ascended masters, and the most high of the highest and purest life vibration energy said, okay, last message for the night. What? Because, yeah, I've been reading for the last few hours. So let's see what we got. Last message. What y'all got? <laughs> they weren't playing. They said, get this card out here, child. Look, first things first. Honesty and communication. Okay, honesty and communication is coming through. Y'all, be honest with yourself. And you may need to have some honest communication with someone. What you need to say? What you need to get off your chest? Look, and the card came out with it is raise your vibrations. Child, you're going to feel so much better. They just said, once you get off of your chest, what you once you communicate what it is that you need to say. Who do you need to, to talk to? Okay, you might just need to get something off your chest that's just weighing you down. Lord, it's weighing you down. They said it's a card in here that don't, huh? They said it's a card in here that don't belong in here. And I don't never do two decks, but anyway, they said it's a card in here that don't belong. So, oh, look, y'all, this card fell out. So the first card out, you have the five of swords. Told you it's some honest communication that you need to have, okay? You need to speak up. Now, first things, five of swords, y'all, it is a card that win, of winning at any cost. Like someone who always has to have the last word. That may be why you don't want to talk to someone. And if you're dealing with someone in this five of swords energy, child, you ain't got to talk to them if you don't want to. But if you don't, then you just need to release it with love, light, and healing energy and worry about, and don't worry about having the conversation, okay? Conflict, disagreement, see? Conflict, disagreement, defeat, betrayal, loss, competition, victory through deceit. No, a no-win conversation. Some of y'all, that's why you haven't spoken up. And they said it's a card in here that don't belong. I'm not going to take the time to find it right now, but what's coming up with this? Child, look, you, oh, y'all, and the, oh, I thought this was the Seven of Swords. I was going to say, because the Seven of Swords normally comes out with the Five. Four of Swords, rest. This is walking away. Rest, recuperation, time out, meditation, overwhelm, contemplation. They're made, look. This is giving a difficult conversation that's been put on the back burner. You got to speak up. You got to speak your truth, okay? You've been thinking about it. You know that you need to have this conversation and say what you need to say in order to move forward. And even if it doesn't give you, I mean, it may not give the other person resolution. It might not give you resolution. But there's something you need to get off your chest, child. So don't keep holding on to it. It's lowering your energy, lowering your vibration because you're spending time thinking of it. Look, eight of cups. Sometimes you got to walk away. Okay, say what you got to say. Walk away. You're not asking for agreement. The eight of cups is a cycle, y'all. It is walking away, leaving the past behind, saying, look, I said what I said. I meant what I said. And now I'm moving forward. Okay, movement of or transition, abandonment, leaving behind, walking away, letting go, emptiness, detachment, and unhappiness. So, y'all. It's time to close this chapter. Some of y'all, this may be someone from your past that maybe you have been putting off talking to. Maybe they have resurfaced. There could be some thoughts that have resurfaced as well with this Five of Swords that is now time to let go of. The Four of Swords is a, call of, a card of letting go, right? Letting go of what was being honest with yourself as well y'all we got to be honest with self so that we're not holding on to old baggage child we need to be around people places and things we need to be talking to people and places and being in places that raise our vibration and not that make us feel depleted the five of swords is a depletion card okay clarifying that what do we have didn't i say Y'all, a lot of swords energy. You need to speak your truth. I don't know what this truth is. This may, you may just be telling someone that you're ready to walk away. You're tired of being in this loop, in this circle, in this cycle. You're ready to have better, be better, and do better. Okay. The page of swords is communication. It's about expressing yourself. All right. Someone may be a little petty. This five of swords person, child, they a little petty. Mm hmm Communication, argumentative. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, you may, oh, this could be a backstabber too, y'all. I don't think I like it. Look, and look how both of these people have like weapons, right? No weapon formed against you shall prosper, okay? So just be, don't be afraid to speak your truth, even if it's to someone who, because they just say it's someone who always want to be right, always wants to control the conversation. Child, you can't just walk away from this. You ain't got to have a conversation if you don't want to, okay? Some of you... You may be receiving news like that may be a little hurtful. Oh, y'all, nine of wands. This is a this is a 
crazy, not crazy reading, but it's kind of heavy is what I'm feeling. You have the nine of wands. Try you tired. Look, and this is clarifying the four of swords, right? Tired of holding on to it, okay? You've held on to it as long as you possibly can. It's time, message, it's time to be honest with yourself. It's time to be honest with others as well. Don't be afraid to speak up, y'all. Someone has hurt you. I can tell you this. Someone has hurt you, and maybe because of that, like they're giving me traumatized that's what's making you be ready to walk away. Child, look with everything you can you done been through. This is the wounded warrior card. You done been through some things. There could be with an air sign, very specifically. An ongoing battle, weary, tired, resilience, guarded, persistence, wounded. Okay, so you may be tired of having the same conversation over and over and over. And maybe look, and I'm this is if this is like a relationship, maybe like Sometimes are you sometimes you just it's just better to walk away and just be like, you know what, you got it. Even if you know that person's wrong, guess what? They know they're wrong too. They just don't want to admit it. Okay, what else do we got, Spirit? Look, they a control freak. <laughs> you have the emperor. Like I said, they want to dominate, they want to always monopolize the conversation. And that look, I feel like Y'all, I really just feel like some of y'all are tired of saying the same thing over and over and over. Someone is very stubborn. The Emperor is a fantastic car, but it can be very rigid, very stubborn, very I want it my way, a uh, highway kind of energy. And I feel like some of y'all are just tired of that. Like you may be tired of the fussing, the fighting, the disagreements, the arguments, and you may just be choosing to say, you know what, I give up. Okay, because you can't change people's minds all the time. You can't make them understand your point of view. And as you um, continue to grow, you'll realize like you don't need anyone to agree with your perspective or your opinion. At the same time, you can't try like no one should be trying to force anyone to believe what they believe and or, or be in total agreement. Like if you, you if you don't believe me or you don't listen to me, try going on somewhere. I don't have to agree with you. You can have a conversation with someone. Oh y'all, I just saw the car. They wasn't lying. What does this card say? Look, y'all, this does not match the deck. These are the two decks that we're using. This card does not match. They said it was one in here, and it's the South Node, Lord. <laughs> the South Node says, life's debts, the past, past lives, lessons not learned, what's left unfinished. Come on, spirit. Telling y'all, some of y'all... It's just, and the South Node is about the past, right? It's the things that you bring into this life. It's the things that... um. It's like life debts. It's the things that you're comfortable with. So, yeah, you definitely may be walking, choosing to walk away from something, child. It just ain't those things. It's not serving you anymore. It's not serving you. And you tired. What's the final outcome, spirit? You tired of having the same, oh, this is, who is this control freak? I don't know how I feel about them. Okay, I love everybody, but let me just say this. You can love people that ain't got to like them. Okay, so some of y'all may be feeling like that, and you may just be choosing, like, look, I'm tired, I'm weary, I don't want to keep talking about the same things, doing the same things, going through the same things. So you may just be like putting your foot down as well. Because <laughs> look, the four swords just flipped up again. This is and this is two different decks, of course, but this just came out again. So you just like I give up, okay? Message, it's like I give up. I'm, I'm, you, you know what? You got it. I ain't got time for it anymore. I'm gonna let you have it. Take time for yourself. Taking a break, restoration, relax, peace, self protection. Yeah, child, protect your peace and protect your energy and your vibration. Okay, you don't have to listen to what anybody else is saying, child. You need just let them talk to themselves, so you ain't got to be bothered. Okay, peace. On pause on purpose with the hanged man. Okay, this is like making that sacrifice. Look, I ain't got to be dealing with that. Love can't be rushed. Sacrifice, uncertainty, lack of direction, perspective, contemplation, stepping backwards. Told you, taking a step back. Child, let them folks argue with themselves. Don't try to convince them. Come on, 9-11. Don't try to convince them that you're right. Don't They don't want to see your perspective. They don't want to see your side of things. Just take a break. Let them have their moment and keep it moving because you're not going to be able to, mm -mm, you're not going to, with this person, whoever this energy is, it could very well be um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you're dealing with. They're a little hard headed. They're a little stubborn. They want their way. They can be a little controlling. Okay. Want to control and dominate the conversation. So 
don't spend too much time, effort, and energy on it, okay? Don't put your teeth over that time, effort, energy. Just let them have their moment and keep it moving, okay? Some of y'all, like, mm, honest communication. You might just need to speak up, speak your truth, and then get gone, okay? Love y'all. Bye, y'all.